Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Snapchange Media. In this video, I'll be reviewing this beautiful specimen behind me, which is the GWM Aura. And it is both Chinese and fully electric, so it is quite controversial. But let's get into it and I'll tell you everything about it. The price, power, outputs and what I think about it. Let's get it guys. Welcome to the inside of the GWM Aura 300. Uh, this is the entry level and so it has a 48 kilowatt hour battery which is connected to a motor that puts out 126 kilowatts as well as 250 newton meters of torque and GWM claims that it has a 16 um, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer range from the battery which works out pretty fine uh, right now I have 174 kilometer range left and I have just over half a fuel tank left or fuel cells. Um, I'm on the way to deliver the car back now and I'm quite sad because I quite enjoyed this vehicle. Um, it is a snazzy boutique city car that has some luxury feeling to it. The interior is very nice, the drive is super comfortable. The suspension is firm and rigid, but it also soaks up the road imperfections very nicely. The ride's pretty high from the ground, so riding on gravel roads would be okay. The design of the vehicle is very nice and it has a lot of safety equipment inside here, packed in here, like you could just hear now when I was getting too close to the vehicle in front of me. It has lane keep assist, it has cruise control, it has a visual display of the vehicles in front of me which the radar is sensing, so like right there, it's giving me an alert that I'm going over uh, my lane. The car is very comfortable, like I said, the steering wheel has different modes. It is an electric power assisted steering. You have a light mode, a comfort mode and sport mode. I'm in sport mode, of course. Also a 360 view camera, blind spot monitoring camera as well when I turn showing me on the left what's going on and it shows me the view from the top as well there's also electronic stability control and that works very nice also when you put your foot down you can feel the traction working and i do like that that was one of my gripes of chinese vehicles in the past that i've driven i do feel that it is getting a bit better in some of the cars that I drove, but some is still a bit suspicious. But the GWM Aura, it's electric, an electric vehicle, fully electric vehicle. So the traction control works quite nice. As I'm standing here by the robots, I have a display of the three vehicles in front of me, which the radar is picking up. And yeah, it's very nice. The display over there shows me the traffic in front of me. And even if it was a truck, it would show me a truck. I think, is that showing a bike there? Yeah, it even shows the motorbike. There's the brown on the motorbike. No. Get away. So there's the bra on the motorbike. And the two cars. There's the two cars and there's the motorbike. The sensor is amazing. So that would work with the lane keep assist and the active distance following and all of that. It helps assist me as the driver. The Aura, just like all other electric cars that I've driven before, and I think all of them should be like that, has regenerative driving modes. And that um, is also incorporated in one pedal driving. So as soon as you let your foot off the accelerator pedal with one pedal, with one pedal driving, uh, the, it will automatically brake and regenerate power to the battery. Let's see if I can just get to the modes, driving, it's eco, the single pedal mode, single pedal mode, one pedal mode activated. Yeah, so when I drive now, as soon as I let my foot off accelerator, it will brake automatically by itself and that will regenerate braking. So also when I accelerate, the acceler accelerator pedal will feel a bit more heavier than without, when I don't use one pedal driving. So this way you save your electricity on your battery or your charge on your battery when driving. It's cool, I like it. 
And another thing that I've always wanted to test out and that I could check out on the order is that when you're driving with one pedal driving is like when exactly does the brake lights show at the back for the driver behind you because as soon as I let go of the accelerator pedal um, it's applying brakes right but that's not exactly the case it's not exactly when I let go of the accelerator pedal and it's not always the same at each um, scenario so the brakes does apply get applied when using one pedal driving must busted the inside is simplistically designed two-tone colors with the red contrasting with the white and some white stitching um, it's a bit too much if you ask me but it is for like I said the more the person that's after that snazzy vehicle city car um, the price of this vehicle is a bit much it is 687,000 Rand for the entry level which is the vehicle I'm testing I do think that the 400 just comes with a bigger battery the inside is very spacious very comfortable like I said I went on a little trip with my nephews um, and they enjoyed it they loved it they were like wow this is an electric car and one of the posts was I made that one good cop one bad cop because the one kept saying how fast does this go we the other was more worried about what the price of the electric car is and he was like oh, he wants one of this when he grows up the vehicle I'm enjoying it the underpinnings feel very solid um, very stable suspension is also nice I like it there is some torque steer when pushing it around corners and powering through but that is expected with all this torque in the vehicle the car handles very well besides the torque steer but like I said it's not a it's not a performance car or sports car so it does do very well I'm excited about this car it is both a Chinese and an electric car um, there you see that thing it's warning me and all of these things even now when it's a bus it's shown me on the display a picture of a bus or a truck a bigger vehicle which the radar is sensing the indicators is a bit annoying see there it's hard to cancel because it doesn't click when you click it over just like as that soft touch that's again the lane keep assist warning me uh, cabin noise is very evident I'm doing 110 now and I'm sure you can hear the cabin noise is a bit audible the sound system in here is also very decent it's an entry level it plays nicely but uh, my USB works fine it, it um, loads all of the stuff very well uh, I didn't get to charge the vehicle and this review is not going to be about how much charge and all of that uh, it's more about the drive of the vehicle and what I think about electric vehicles because most people are scared of electric vehicles but if you think about it electricity is more freely available than petroleum you can walk into any house and there is several electric plug points there even if it's not a house you're going to a wall or whatever wherever you're gonna find yourself um, there will be an electric plug it's not like this petrol available anyway yes people are selling the petrol they're not selling the electricity yet but it's just to give you an idea to change your perspective a bit there's electricity everywhere if you go to your friend's house you can ask them hey can I just charge the vehicle for 20 minutes give it a charge while I'm waiting for you to get down to give you a lift that's not giving some money for fuel so I think that um, yeah we just need to change our perspective a bit about it yes um, there are fuel systems fuel stations that are burning coal to create electricity blah 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 and that whole story of whatever yeah but I do think that this is a more efficient way of driving it does work out cheaper in the long run once the taxes of electric vehicles do come down a bit because pricing right now for any electric vehicle is ridiculous this is the cheapest electric vehicle that you can get in South Africa okay yes it is a more boutique style vehicle but it's a Chinese vehicle so it should be a bit cheaper so 687,000 um, if I would think that if the taxes of electric vehicles would go down about maybe like 150,000 less so it would still be well maybe it would be a bit more affordable yeah well that's just my thoughts um, 
Uh, what do I think about electric vehicles? Is it fun? Yes, it is fun. It is loads of fun. Is it more fun than having a petrol vehicle? I don't think that it's more fun. Um, it's up to you and what you feel is fun because there's different ways to have fun. Like with this vehicle, you can go fast without making a noise and drawing attention to you. Um, where with the petrol engine, sort of part of the thrill is hearing the sound and feeling that rumble which you're obviously not going to get with this electric vehicle but the technology is in here is well set up um, it drives really nice the electric motor is very responsive the torque is instantaneous I'm riding behind a Mercedes-Benz GLA 45 AMG um, and there it goes I can I can keep up with that car if I wanted to without growling too loud even well, obviously the cameras are going to catch me the same way but yeah so on the exterior of this vehicle it looks very very nice it looks like a Porsche everyone's been saying oh Brad that looks like a Porsche and they are right it does have Porsche design elements because the designer of the order is the ex-designer who worked at Porsche so yeah the design elements and design language are very Porsche like um, it's a bit bold uh, the the stance and the or the the shoulders at the back of the vehicle the rear of the the rear of the vehicle is a bit wide when you look at it and but other than that i do like the vehicle it looks very nice i like the aesthetics i like the rims on here as well um the emblem looks a bit weird the badge looks a bit weird yeah i don't think so it looks very chinese but i'm sure that is what they're going for how long before our perceptions change of these Chinese vehicles and of electric vehicles? Well, I think with electric vehicles, it's just a matter of time before the price gets down. Because look with other Chinese vehicles, that is what happened. Uh, the price is lower than the other vehicles. So people are at least going and test driving it. And then people are buying it. And then other people are seeing like, okay, it's fine to buy it. Look, Mr. Joshua down the road, he has had his Chinese car for whatever x amount of time now even my neighbor he was at Toyota Corp his whole life uh, it's my friend's dad uh, Uncle Royden shout out to you um, he's Toyota head through and through and he has a very good job and it's not like he doesn't want a Toyota anymore he just sees that there is value within the Chinese car because he has a Chery Tigo 4 now and I don't blame him for that like why waste your money on the same thing that you're gonna get you might the risk in it um, that you might not get the same customer service there's not a much as much available parts yet blah 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 the list goes on we all know that story but um, yeah if you do at least try and test drive it test drive an electric vehicle and feel for yourself what it's like um, test drive a Chinese car see what it's like test drive a GWM car test drive an Aval uh, Aval just launched the new Jollyon Sport today um, I'm not a fan of sports Chinese cars yet but test the Chinese cars that's what I do recommend test any vehicle before you go and drive it watch the reviews hear what people have to say about it and then make a short list and try and reach out to the dealer that lives that's closest to your house and then yeah book a test drive and feel what it's like sit in the car have your family come with you have them feel the car see the car and yeah see what it's like this electric vehicle is very expensive and that's one of the things that goes with out saying is that the Val and GWM are really they are doing well in the country they're selling so much vehicles that they're able to bring this GWM order into the country which I'm sure they know would not sell as good as they would want it to but they have the the privilege of doing that because of the sales of the other vehicles so because um, the P series is selling well because the Valley is selling so well they're able to introduce this electric vehicle into our market and give some of the people a taste of what is to come and it's inevitable that the Chinese are gonna come over and influx the market with all kinds of vehicles so thanks for watching the review of the order I'll put all the information up on the screen the pricing and the kilowatts the different units available and what 
the safety features are and all of that will be up on the screen uh, thanks for tuning in if you haven't yet please consider subscribing it would really help me grow that much more and get me invited to more events get me to drive more cars just grow my experience and meet more people meet new places and share all the video content with you guys on all my platforms especially here on youtube which i'm trying to push to 1000 subscribers these guys so let's launch this car yeah did you hear there's some tires spin and some talks there when i'm turning to the left i can feel it like pulls that way but the car is very nice it's just a bit bigger than a polo here's a polo sitting on my bonnet a boot he's gonna try and overtake me but he's too slow he doesn't have enough kilowatts or enough torque